Hey everyone, welcome back. And guys, in this video, I'm going to show how you can use a new feature of Pabli Connect to send emails to your users automatically. And that feature is SMTP. So guys, SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and it's a a uh, server used to send and receive mail outgoing mails between senders and receivers okay so by using smtp you can connect your email uh, tools like emailing tools like uh, mailchimp or mailer cloud or sendgrid and by using this feature you can send emails to your users automatically let me show you how so guys first of all you need to log in into your pavli connect account and reach the dashboard of pavli connect and to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. And guys, here you can create workflows of automation by, create, by clicking on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow and then click on create to uh, get started. Okay, so... The workflow will look like this here you can see I have created this workflow and in the trigger I connected jot form and fetch the response of a form submission here in this response receive section you can see I connected jot form application and received the form response okay and here I have received this email address so guys I want to uh, send an email to this address okay so to send a, to send an email, I am using this action step, and here I have used SMTP by Pabli feature. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So it's a uh, it's a feature by which you can send emails via Pabli Connect uh, with the help of any email marketing application. Here we are using SMTP server, and the credential we have used is for SendGrid application. Okay. So after sending, uh, after selecting SMTP by Pabli, you have to select the action event as send email. Okay, then click on connect and here select add new connection and it will ask for the host name, the username, the password and the encryption type and the port of the application which you are using to send emails. So guys, you can use MailChimp, you can use SendInBlue, you can use any other marketing or email campaign application like MailerCloud. For now, I'm using SendGrid. Okay, so let me fill the credentials here. So guys, uh, in the host name, I have filled the host name of SendGrid as smtp.sendgrid.net. And this is my username. And here I am going to put the password of SMTP or uh, sorry, SendGrid. And here I have used the encryption type as TLS. You can use TLS or SSL or uh, none. And the port number for TLS encryption type is 587 that I have used here okay now i just have to enter the password and then i am just going to click on save and we'll be connected with smtp okay so guys you can see we are now connected and here it is asking uh, from name so admin is sending this email so i'm putting here admin and from email is this this is the smtp sender email okay and if you want to put some reply to text you can put here and guys here you can see i have put uh, in the two uh, uh, here it is asking to whom you want to send the email so guys i am going to map the email address of the person whose data we have received here in the form submission okay so in the form submission we have received the data and here we have the email address so i am going to map it here so to map it here you just have to click here and you will see this jot form new response option in the section in this uh, drop down and from here only you can map the email address like this okay and here is the subject of our email i have put here thanks for submission and here i have typed the body of the email address email that i want to send and here you can see i have put the message as this hi and after this i am going to address the person to whom i am sending at sending this email so you'll get the date of the person from this first step so you just can uh, map the full name here of this person to whom you are addressing like this so it is saying hi daniel johnson and i have put this angle bracket and put br in between this means uh, by putting putting this angle bracket and br tag we can add a new line in our email okay so i have put another line here then i have written we received we have received 
so i have typed the message is this we have received your image for photo competition then put uh, then i put two more line breakers here to add two more lines then i have written this okay now you can check your connection uh, with your uh, with your smtp server by clicking on save and send test request and you can see how the email will appear let me show you so guys i have the access of this email account here you can see this is the uh, inbox of uh, this email account daniel's joe okay that i have mapped here like this so let me show you how the email will appear so i'm clicking on save and send test request and this is the status success okay let che let's check in the inbox of this email address if we got a new email and here you can see this is the kind of email this person will receive it is showing it is from admin the subject is thanks for submission and this is the email hi daniel johnson we have received your image for photo competition thanks r and craft academy so this is the same email that i have typed here like this and this is the data i have mapped here and this is the email address so our connection is working fine and this automation is working really well so the and guys when you map the data like this from any of the uh, first step from wherever you are getting the data what will happen whenever uh, this automation will run this data is going to change which you have mapped and a new email will be delivered to all your users okay according to the map data or labels right so guys this is how you can use the smtp feature by Pavli and send emails to all your users for different purposes okay guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel